Hey guys, this is Alex from The New Fuel. Uh, on today's fuel tip, we're going to be looking at the displacement map feature in Adobe After Effects. Uh, we're going to be using it to create a sort of vintage 1950s, um, you know, the dancing foods telling you to go to the concession stands and buy, buy something tasty. Uh, so we're going to take this little puppet hot dog guy here, uh, and we're going to turn him into something like this. So you can see, it just kind of like roughens up the edges on him a little bit. He he skips um, and matches, uh, you know, this old grainy footage look. You know, it looks like maybe this got dropped out of a film canister and got kicked around on the floor of a studio or something. So it just, it, it looks pretty authentic, I think. So yeah, this is, I mean, this is kind of what we're trying to emulate. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go Classic. To the lobby. Classic. Looks really good, hand drawn, pretty grainy. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to be using this puppet that I built in After Effects, um, drag the pieces in from Adobe Illustrator. For a really great series of tutorials on using the puppet tool in After Effects uh, and rigging puppets, I would highly recommend heading over to ED Films uh, and watching Dan Geis's series of tutorials on puppets. Uh, really great stuff, taught me pretty much everything I know about using the puppet tool. Uh, and you can see over here, there's a lot of, uh, just, just a lot of stuff going into one pretty simple puppet. Um, but it's definitely worth it. Looks really good. So again, that's ED Films. Uh, let's go ahead and get started, though. Uh, let me first just drag a new, uh, new background layer in here. Okay. First thing you're going to want to get is, you know, just some old grainy looking footage. I found this on YouTube. It was a free download. Um, I'm sure you could make something like this in After Effects if you had the time, um, you know, just using different textures and effects. But uh, just, just for the sake of keeping this brief, I'm going to be using a free download. So let me pull that into our comp. First thing I want to do is tint it to black and white. Um, we're actually going to be using this, this motion texture as our displacement map, but I'm going to get into that in just a minute, but it, it just is going to work better for our purposes if it's in black and white. And I found that setting this sort of thing to multiply uh, looks pretty good. And I'm going to also drag in one more uh, overlay, um, and you can see this one is a lot lighter. Uh, and I put it underneath the multiply layer, and I, I like to set this one to soft light. I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so the first thing we want to do besides tinting our, our footage, um, and this is a very important step, uh, is you're going to want to posterize time, and you want to set it to 14 frames. Now, if you're not familiar with what posterize time does, uh, basically what it's doing is it takes your footage... So I downloaded this stuff at, you know, 30 frames per second off of YouTube. And what it's doing is it's locking it at 14 frames per second instead. Uh, and, you know, old, like, 8 millimeter cameras, uh, you know, like a Super 8, they, their frame rate was about 14 to 16 frames per second. So it's just going to make it look more authentic. Um, you know, it makes it, you know, it skips frames every once in a while, so it looks a little bit less smooth. I can see we're getting some weird artifacting things on this layer, so I'm going to move this over. All right, that looks a little bit better. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing to our, our soft light layer. Um, so that's looking good. So let's go ahead and preview this. So that's looking pretty good. You can see the background definitely looks old and grainy. But the hot dog itself, I mean, you can see he still looks perfect, right? He looks like a vector. Um, his arms are moving with perfect mathematical precision because he was made on After Effects. So we want to roughen him up a little bit, make him look like he's hand-drawn. Um, so we're going to go ahead and cut to the chase here and, and put a displacement map on him. Uh, and you're going to want to set the map to your vintage footage comp uh, that we dragged in. And you're going to want to set it to read the luminance, which is the, you know, the lights and the darks. So, I'll, I'll, again, I'll briefly explain how this works, and I'm not an expert on this, 
But uh, from what I understand, uh, it works just like any sort of masking effect that you have in Photoshop, like a layer mask. Black is going to do one thing, white is going to do another thing, pushing the pixels one way or the other. Middle gray, in this case, is not going to do anything. So, based on whatever you put your horizontal and vertical displacement, uh, you know, After Effects is going to push the pixels one way or the other, depending on if it's underneath a black or a white. So, I'll just turn this way up so you can see what I'm talking about. You can see he's really, really chopped up by this. Um, I mean, this is a pretty intense example because this first frame has a lot of distortion on it. Um, I've found that 15 is usually a good setting for this. And I'll skip ahead and we'll just take a look. I mean, you can see it just kind of roughens the edges up, which is exactly what we want. So he's starting to look pretty good. Let's go ahead and preview this. So now you can see he's skipping and jumping pretty pretty well. I mean, he matches our vintage footage perfectly because we're using that same overlay as a displacement map. Um, but again, his, his hand movements are still too perfect. So just like with our footage, we're going to go ahead and posterize time on the hot dog. And we're going to stick with that 14 frames uh, per second. And you can see, I mean, he just looks, it looks choppier. Looks like a cartoonist hand drew this. Right, he's looking pretty good. Uh, and if I haven't, I don't think I've mentioned this. Obviously, you don't have to restrict yourself to just doing a cartoon. This style, by using the posterized time and the displacement map, it will work on anything that you want to use. Photos, you know, your own home footage. Uh, it, it's definitely not just limited to this, so the possibilities are pretty pretty endless for this if you just want some sort of vintage you know, grainy effect. I think it looks pretty good. So the last thing we want to do, you know, with any After Effects project is some color correction. So we're going to go ahead and drop an adjustment layer in. And we want to kind of wash it out a little bit to make it look older. 100% uh, is too much. So let's just go ahead and drag this around until we find something we like. I think, I think 30 looks pretty good, 30%. Uh, and of course, we want to drop a curves adjustment on there, boost the contrast a little bit. Um, definitely push the lights to wash it out, but at the same time, we don't want to completely lose our darks. So just want to drag that back over. That's looking pretty good, I think. Let's go ahead and I think actually something more like 35 will look better on the tint. Good. Okay. And the last thing I like to do is just throw a photo filter, a warming filter on there. It just makes it look a little bit friendlier, a little bit more inviting. You know, it, it, it matches the let's all go to the lobby look a little bit closer. Um, and so let's go ahead and preview this. So there you go. I mean, this is looking really, really authentic, I think. You know, he's really choppy. You can see here his elbow is getting distorted, uh, where the, you know, where the footage is popping a little bit. Uh, he, lo frankly, he looks delicious. Makes me want to run out and pay twelve bucks for a hot dog at a movie theater or something. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, I would encourage you to go ahead and please like the video. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. All that good stuff. We're gonna be posting new content there. I know Brian and I are working on a few more tutorials for the upcoming weeks. Um, so anytime we come up with something new, we're going to be posting it to Facebook and Twitter um, and to our website. If you have any questions about this tutorial, go ahead and post those in the comments and we'll do our best to get back to you. And if you have any sort of suggestions for future tutorials or something you don't know how to do and you want to learn, uh, we'll try and figure out how to do it and post a tutorial. And, uh, of course, we're not going to just limit it to ourselves. If we ever see anything cool out there on the web about After Effects or an, a nice tutorial that we think could be useful for you guys, we will also just go ahead and post that right to our Facebook. Thanks for watching, guys.